Hey guys, my name is James and today we're going to talk about a few new and exciting products from Cinegears. And the first one I'm going to talk to you guys about is the addition of the Extreme motor. You're all very familiar with the single axis standard motor. The Extreme looks very similar. It is the same height when we put them side by side. The only difference is that this one is a little bit thicker across here. The Extreme motor is at least twice the torque as the standard motor though. Just like the standard motor, it has a Limo power cable and it has a remote record port on it, just at the front here. And talking about remote record cables, this is it here. It is made out of aluminum, so it's nice and solid. There are two cables that come out of it. Now, one thing to note is that one cable goes for the remote, which is the motor, and the other one goes to the camera. If uh, you encounter any problems, the recording doesn't start or stop. Oftentimes it'll be because those cables are inverted. So make sure that the right cable goes in the right port. This is our remote port here, cable. And then on this camera, all you have to do is connect the camera side of the cable into the camera here, like so. And then on the little unit here, there's a LED that goes green. That is also your record button. When you press the button, the LED goes red. The camera is recording. Press it again. The camera stops recording and the LED goes back to green. Once we have a uh, remote control set up with this motor, the little record button here will trigger through the motor to the camera. There you go, little LED goes red. It indicates that the camera is indeed recording and you press it again. The LED oops, goes green and the camera stops recording. The setting up on this motor is the same as the standard single axis motor. It's very simple. We connect power to the motor. The LED light goes blue. Now we press the button for three seconds. The LED goes green and on our remote, we'll press on set and the blue button next to it. And they will be paired. The LED will flash blue. Now there's a few different ways to adjust this motor. We can set it manually for stills lenses or automatically for cinema camera lenses. This is a cine lens, so we'll do an automatic uh, calibration. We'll press on the set button and A together for three seconds. And the lens will go through the entire focus range in both directions. And now we're, we're done. Minimum focusing distance all the way to infinity. So now that we've covered how to automatically remap the lens, we'll talk about manual remapping of the lens instead. And in case you ever forget, the instructions are written on the back of the controller. So you always have them with you. So if we follow the instructions here, the first thing we will do is press on set and record together for three seconds. Now all the lights are turned on. In this case here, I want to start, let's say at five feet. Press on C, this will turn the lens to your first point. Five feet, or in this case, four and a half feet. Press on A. This is my starting point. Now press on D. The lens will start spinning when you reach the ending point press on D again. That's my ending point. B and my lens is manually remapped now. So from my initial point here, four and a half feet to infinity and the remapping will take the entire 300 degree of rotation on the controller, just like this. And at any point you can change 
where the points are on your lands if you need to. Alright guys, so now that we know how to manually remap our lenses and automatically remap our lenses, we'll be doing this quite often, obviously. Now sometimes we might have to recalibrate the remote. And what I mean by this is that I get to the end here before the remote actually gets to the end, or sometimes we'll get to the end, but the motor won't go all the way to the end. So there's a very simple fix for that. With our remote turned on and the motor turned on, we'll go to our minimum focusing point on the controller, press the set code and record button all together for three seconds. All the lights turned on. Now the next step is to go to our infinity point and do the same thing again. Set, code, and record together. The lights all turn on. Now this is my infinity point and my minimum focusing point. Now my controller is back to normal. All right guys, here's the next thing I wanted to talk about. And that's how versatile this remote control is. We can use it obviously with our hands, but we can also install it on our tripod here with the little clamp that is supplied with it. There, now my focus is at my fingertips. record and I'm recording this awesome light. Nice and easy. Your thumb's right there. But here's the next thing we can do with this remote control. And this is one of my favorite ones. It's to set up a wireless follow focus unit. In this case here I took an old camera cage and I put my monitor inside. My wireless system is here and the remote Again, with that little clamp on the side, little 90 degrees, small rod on this camera here. And I can focus while I am looking. Nice and easy. You can do just about anything you want with those remote controls. 